Good evening. A family from central Alberta says the province was wrong to count their 14-year-old boy as a COVID-19 death. And today they received an apology from Dr. Dina Hinshaw. Andy Spitzer was at the end of a long battle with brain cancer when he contracted COVID in the hospital. His family feels his death has been politicized. Jeremy Thompson reports. It was big news earlier this week when Alberta's top doctor announced a teenager was among the 33 people who died from COVID-19 over the Thanksgiving weekend. This includes the death of a 14-year-old who had complex pre-existing medical conditions that played a significant role in their death. When they heard the news, the Spitzer family knew right away Hinshaw was referring to their son and brother, Natey, and they say she was wrong about what killed him. They seen how he got weaker and weaker and they seen what, what the cancer really did to him. And then at the last day or two, they labeled it as COVID and kind of shipped them off of that. The Spitzers say Natey had been battling a cancerous brain tumor for nine months before testing positive for COVID. The teen had already outlived his prognosis. So all of his fighting was now swept under the table and he's just another COVID case. The ordeal has been hard on the family. Reading headlines and comments online added stress and anger to their grief. It really agitates us and we see that in the, in the comments everywhere and it's just the misinformation. Is, is The pain of losing a child is terrible enough without having that loss compounded by a public debate about the circumstances. I am sorry if the way that I spoke about that death made your grief worse. Now an apology and a policy change. Hinshaw says officials always review COVID deaths in case new information emerges that changes the cause of death. The most recent example is from October 7th when Alberta Health removed three deaths from the provincial total after determining they were unrelated to COVID-19. Going forward, we will not publicly report any COVID deaths in anyone under 18 until the review process has been completed. And for more on this, we head live to Jeremy Thompson, who is at the legislature for us tonight. And Jeremy, I understand that you've just heard back from the family about this apology. That's right, Aaron. I just uh, heard back from uh, Nady's sister, Simone, on this, and she says, uh, well, she appreciates the policy change and uh, Dr. Hinshaw saying that uh, Nady's cause of death will be reversed. She says much of her family still feels betrayed that this whole thing happened at all. She says there's still a lot of frustration among family members uh, at a time when they would much rather be focusing on grieving. Okay, Aaron? Jeremy, thank you so much.